So for this problem, I'm going to use what I know, which is the property of logs, and I'm going to condense this. This is right here, currently in its expanded form. Um, so I'm going to use the quotient property because we see a subtraction that x becomes the numerator and 3 becomes the denominator. Let's go ahead and rewrite this in exponential form. So base is 10 to the 8th. Well, I think I changed this problem because um, it was too big. I didn't want 3. Oh, I, did, I, took, I think I made it 3. Okay. So to the 3rd. Okay. And then x divided by 3. Okay, so that's 1,000 equals x divided by 3. Multiply both sides by 3. So x equals 3,000. And that should be the final answer. Let's go ahead and check. So we have 3,000. I'm going to store that as x. Okay, I have log of x minus mm, log of 3, and that equals 3. Okay, good job. Should I just go ahead and move on? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the other one too. Um, let's see what color. Uh, let's see, number 10. We had log of 2x plus log of x equals 11. This is once again expanded, so I'm going to condense that. So log of 2x times x, I'm using the product property. So that becomes log of 2x squared equals 11. Base 10 to the 11th equals 2x squared. Well, once again, we're going to have a large number, huh? Okay. Divide both sides by 2. So x squared equals 10 to the 11 over 2. I'm going to go ahead and square root that. And x equals, let's see, 10. Well, actually, you can think of an ex exponent. So um, it's going to be plus or minus. But remember, remember what I said. You can't have the negative. You can't have a negative here. OK? It's called the argument, but um, I didn't never taught you that verbiage, but it's okay. So let's go ahead and look at this 10 to the 11 inside. We can go ahead and break that down to 10 to the 10th uh, and 10 to the 1. Okay. So we can go ahead and take the 10 to the 5th out, and we have a 10 and a square root of 2. I'm going to Go ahead and rationalize the denominator. So I have 10 to the fifth square root of 20 over 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. 10 to the fifth divided by 2. So it should be 50,000 square root of 20. That's the final answer. Okay. Wow, that became a more difficult problem than I thought. Mm, let's go ahead and do 50,000. And then square root of 2, 20. Let's check our answer. Let's store that as x. Okay. And log of 2x plus log of x should be 11. Voila. Okay. We have both answers. This is a kind of a difficult one. Mm, if I did want you to actually calculate all the way like that, which I'm going to expect that from you on my test. Okay. So there you go. Now I'm done. Bye.